the farm here and go with our house. And um, we're going to basically use it to update. Um, where's my notepad? Basically, we're just going to use it to update our new match.sh script. So, first thing we're going to do is the team number and the match type um, should both be the same. Um, so, we're no longer going to connect, um, we're no longer going to collect match number. So, we're going to change match num to, um, to match type. And we're going to take um, enter match type, and um, we're going to give them uh, all caps, please. So we're going to save that, and um, so that's pretty much this, right? So team number and match type, and um, right. So we're going to read match type. So now we're in the auto, um, which in this case is very much different. So we are for the first time dealing with a non-autonomous, autonomous period in heavy quotation marks. So we're going to print, um, instead of auto, we're going to have it print sandstorm. And it will be the same. So um, sandstorm period um, from starting bell. And I think that this is 15 seconds. So now we are running at 15 seconds in, and um, I think that's fine. I don't think we need to specify anything because it's not for new scouts. This will be for our returning scouts, and this will be for our new scouts. And um, yeah, so let's just take a look at that. Um, gosh, I could actually take a lot more room with this Firefox window, right? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Say hi in the chat. Um, so we're going to take Firefox and Notepad. I'm going to stretch this a little bit and see if it goes. Um, I'm not seeing the change reflected in Twitch yet, but I'm sure we'll be there in a minute. Um, all right, let's go back here. So we have our sandstorm period, and I'm really sorry for having to do this in notepad because um, for some reason OBS will not capture VS code um, because it's for some it's like a Google Chrome type thing so you also can't um, capture Google Chrome without using a browser capture um, or a browser source which is completely ridiculous um, so I'm gonna go enter switch auto obviously that's not the same so we're going to change it to so we have sandstorm game pieces um, so we have cargo and we have rocket. Uh, we have cargo hatches and we have cargo hatches and cargo ship and rocket. My God, it's been a while. Okay, so enter instead of switch auto, we're going to say cargo ship auto. Enter number of hatch panels. Enter accuracy of Hatch placement. And instead of auto, obviously, this is sandstorm. Read auto or sand. We're going to call it sand cargo H. So that's that. We're going to say enter cargo ship. Enter cargo ship. Hatch placement auto sandstorm. And for this, we're going to say low, mid, high, just for consistency's sake. And we'll give it a space like that. And instead of that, we're going to do that. Anyway, all right. So scale auto, obviously, we don't have a scale, nor do we have an auto. So we are now back to, we're going to say cargo ship. Um, cargo placement accuracy. And we're going to echo enter accuracy of cargo placement. Again, same scale. And it's nice. So we're going to call this one sand cargo 
Let's see. Um, did the team cross the baseline? That's the same as, like, which level did the robot drop off of? So we're going to change this question to did the from which have level did did the team descend? Um, did team number or rather which level of the have did team number descend from? All right, descend from. So we're going to give them a scale. So we're going to say one, two, and we'll give them a space after the colon, as always. So we're going to say read, have, check. Um, let's just go back to Twitch chat for a second, make sure nobody's trying to say anything. Um, all right, I'm trying to figure out who's watching because I don't actually know. Um, okay, if you're watching, please say hi in chat. Um, okay, we're done. Um, let's see. Okay, someone is. All right, let's see. Back to Firefox, back to Notepad, back to work. Um, so we're here in HabCheck. Um, so now we're back to Teleop, essentially. Um, gosh, now we have to do... Oh, I forgot about the whole fucking rocket. All right, um... We're gonna go again. Enter rocket. Rocket. Uh, cargo or hatch placement. Echo. Of rocket. Their accuracy of hatch placement. Cargo ship. Cargo placement. Cargo ship. Enter play accuracy of hatch placement. Rocket. Low. Mid. High. Enter accuracy of hatch placement. Yeah. Um. Colon space. Quotation. Perfect. And we're going to take a read as sand hatch R. Yes. All right. Now we're going to say hashtag enter rocket cargo placement accuracy. And we almost we saw almost no uh, cargo placement. So I don't think this is a very good like indicator, so to speak, because it's also like hard to read, right? Because like if they put it in and then it just gets like booted out in the last second. Um, of sandstorm, so we're gonna say echo enter accuracy of cargo placement rocket low same scale mid high. All right, we're going to read sand cargo R. So that pretty much covers it, right? So we have cargo ship, rocket hatch, rocket cargo, and cargo hatch. Yeah, that wasn't in a very, co this like wasn't in a very cohesive order, but that's okay. Um, so now we're in Teleop. From not 15 seconds any, for not 30 seconds anymore, from 15 S to end the match. Um, all right, this is just a piece of cake to do, so we're just gonna basically echo all this shit. Um, Teleop ready period, cargo ship hatch panels. Echo. Enter number. Enter number of hatch panels on the cargo ship in Telly. And space. Read Telly. Telly cargo. Telly cargo H. And we're going to not switch Telly. Enter hatch panels on cargo ship. Enter number of hatch panels. Cargo ship. Yeah, that's fine. Um, enter 
cargo in or in the cargo ship now in cargo ship enter num number of cargo in the cargo ship in telly colon space read telly cargo c hashtag enter enter rocket batch echo enter number of hatch panels on the rocket Intelliop. colon space quotation read telly hatch r enter rocket cargo echo enter number of cargo on the rocket in teleop want a hard to turn there read tele cargo r and it's odd because you don't actually have to semicolon in bash and it trips me up every time um so yeah let's go back here and so now we're rocket cargo so we're almost done with teleop at this point so the next thing we're going to want to do is so now we have highest rocket cargo so we have enter highest rocket cargo echo enter highest rocket well, we're going to start with hatch because we've been starting with hatch everywhere else i really half-assed this form last season geez okay we're going to use a one two three scale We're going to say read uh, hatch level R. And then we're going to do the same thing with cargo. Echo enter highest rocket cargo. One, one, two, three. And we're going to read hatch level C. So that should take us. Base, we're gonna actually do it on a zero being failure and a one being level one. Perfect. And anybody who's watching this video, which I hope is every single scout here, um, will know that. So, highest rocket hatch. Um, that was basically exactly what we just did. Highest rocket hatch, highest rocket cargo, except we flipped the order. End game, last. 20 seconds. I don't know why I wrote that. It's 30. Yes. Okay. So check for climb. Did team number, or rather, to which hab level did team number climb? Not why, no. We're going to say one, two, three one being the baseline. Read climb check and did the robot die is, the, is our last question. So uh, did robot die? Echo did team num die at any point in the match. All right, and we're going to we're going to give them a scale. So yes, a yes, sandstorm. Yes, telly. No, no, or yes, entire. And I will explain that to all of you when the season starts. And we're going to read depth check so now we are not done as much as we would like to be so what we're going to do next 
is so we have match type so our variables are basically as follows we have team number match type sand cargo h sand cargo c sand hatch r sand cargo r have check so let's get all those entered we have match type um see i'm already forgetting um sand cargo h Sand cargo C. Sand rocket. Sand hatch R. Sand cargo R. I think, right? Yep, and we need have check. Um, instead of have check, we're going to change this to um, descent check. We're going to change it to descent check in here. Okay, good. All right, next, tele cargo H. Tele cargo H, right? Tele cargo H, Tele cargo C, Tele HR, Tele cargo R. Okay. Tele cargo R. C. Tele cargo, Tele. Tele cargo H, Tele cargo C, Tele H hatch R, Tele hatch R, Tele cargo R. Um, Level R Cargo Hatch Hatch No Hatch Cargo Level R I'm a dumb butt Alright Okay Let's close the quote here all right, our next value we're checking for is climb check. We're gonna make that capitalized. Keep in mind, I wrote most of the original program here on an on a Samsung Chromebook on my lap outside of my porch um, with only a CLI. So anything that looks a little bit sketchy probably because it is um, and we can work on fixing that later so enter echo match no we're actually gonna stick this on the next line that makes more sense match number or match type uh, is that an auto cube switch we're gonna change it to sand car sand Hatch CS Sand Cargo CS Sand Rocket Sand Hatch Rocket Sand Cargo rocket. Uh, have descent level. Now here, I'm gonna say Tele uh, Tele hatch CS Tele cargo CS 
Kelly Hatch Rocket. Kelly Cargo Rocket. Highest Rocket Hatch. Highest Rocket Cargo. Um, tab climb level did robot. Uh, we're gonna say team num died. Okay, let's put these on the same level. So climb is not correct. We take climb check out and change our T X. Perfect. Okay, that was a lot. We're going to hope that it worked. Um I'm also hoping that my microphone is like actually coming through because if it's not, that's really unfortunate. Anyway, how many how many frames have I dropped? Thirty. Zero, like zero frames. All right, that's good. We're going to try executing this. So to do that, we're going to save it and just hold still for a second. I'm going to take my bash console. I'm going to add window capture, not video capture. Add, nope. Add, okay, I know how to use, <laughs> I know how to do this. Um, there we go. We're gonna throw this over here. Okay, I'm gonna lock up notepad and those. Perfect. So let's go here. We're going to say ls cd name ls um cd one more ls dot slash start yes Okay, so it's only not doing that because, like, I basically set it up in a certain way that um, you needed to have a certain file system set up in order to do it. Um, so that's fine. We'll, we'll sort that out later. So we're going to say end for new match. <laughs> Enter team number. We'll say 2434. Match type practice accuracy low low high high uh two three four patch panels on the rocket two cargo on the rocket five highest rocket hatch zero highest rocket cargo zero uh climb to level two um, yes, Sandstorm. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up File Explorer. Let's data out. Okay. Oh, it's not printing to that. Okay, I see. So it's storing it. That's fine. Um, to let's grab actually the whole directory of this. Let's try something different. Um, scripter. Okay, copy that. Say to scripter slash 
that slash team number dot txt. Okay, so why is it not writing? Let's try something different. Let's go. I'm not worried about it not writing because it'll write on a Linux computer. Um, let's work with let's work with main for a second. So I'm going to pull in another window. Let's say. Okay. Okay, notepad. All right, so we're here now. Um, okay. New match, opening icon, new match scripter, new match.sh. So what were my errors? Slash home slash es. Yeah, sudo clear. Yeah, they don't. Windows doesn't understand that. That's fine. Unexpected eof while looking for matching. Unexpected end of file. Well, shit. All right, let's. Let's pull this up in VS Code, and I'm sorry that you guys can't see it as I do it. Um, but I'm going to try to find... I think I see it. Let's try this again. And it'll do its little thing. Yada yada yada. And team number one, two, three, four. Practice low, 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 low. Two, one, 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 one. Two, or three, three, two, three. I guess. Yes, drag tell you up. Sudo t slash at slash one two three four dot txt. So let's see what's up. Data out. Just get out twenty nineteen slash main slash one up slash out slash coding slash one two three four dot txt i'm making a video for Layla on how to update the scouting app from last year um one two three four dot txt no such file or directory dash a i think it's rather append file okay well my data is being sent that's odd. Okay, we're back, and my mic is back. Okay, um, it's printing the data, basically, um, as you can see here. I'm going to pull this down. You don't need to worry about that. And that. So see, this here means that it's printing. So 
sudo t dash a. So what we do in this case is we take from this output, we take that, we're going to copy it into a Google search. Uh, sudo t no such file or directory. Oh, okay, because it doesn't understand sudo. That's fine. I can, yeah, that's whatever. Um, virtual box, let's try it here. Okay, start. Hoping I have Manjaro installed. Um, yes, boot. Back to OBS. Add you another window capture. We're going to call this VM. Um, there. Okay, so just let you guys follow this follow along. Machine reset. Okay, we are good. Did not know that was going to resize, my bad. No suitable kernel is available. What the hell does that mean? Machine is not 64 bit capable. Well, screw you. All right, let's go back to our virtual box manager and go settings. And we're going to call it something 64 bit. Literally nothing is fucking 64 bit. That's nuts. Say other. Nope. Other. Other unknown? Invalid settings detected? Well, okay. Linux. Yeah, literally nothing here. Okay, we'll call it Arch. Um, what do you mean invalid settings detected? What are you talking about? Hardware virtualization acceleration section? Uh, is that what it wants? Yeah, okay. So let's try this again. It's probably going to say no suitable kernels again. Yep. So we're going to change. Um, we're going to go back to stable minimal and we're going to reset. Reset. And it should let me boot this time. Please work. I haven't like truly tried to um like get my virtual box working, so I can understand. Guess that's not working either. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say power off. Um, take Antergos CLI ISO. Nope. Antergos download. But you know what? Put it this way. Because we know it works, and our only e our only thing here is because it's sudoing it doesn't know the doesn't know the meaning of sudo and it also doesn't know the meaning of t right so saying no such file directory so like this computer is inherently even though i have the bash shell like an installed it's just not going to do it because it doesn't know the meaning of sudo unless i open it in the git bash which is different and i said let's do this and i said 
um, the CD. Oh, you guys can't see it. And I said, um, add window, uh, get bash. I said, okay. Going to go to. Why can I not capture git bash? That, that, yes it is. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna stick it front and center. We'll hide virtual box. We'll hide our original terminal. And I'll just give you that. So now, here we have this, um, that's virtual box. Where's my other one, git bash, thank you. Um, I'll say there, cd desktop. LS CD Electro Scout LS CD main or CD dot 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 slash. Let's try sudo actually and see if it yeah see it doesn't even recognize it so um, that's our problem basically you need a machine that'll recognize sudo and um, this machine doesn't obviously because it's Windows so now the only thing we can do is we can say CD dot dot LS CD Electro Scout LS sudo uh, git add dot git add uh, asterisk actually so git push uh, git remote add uh, iron, uh, https github.com slash team 1389 slash Electroscout CLI dot get and we're gonna change this from dead name to shy. I'm gonna say that. I'll say git push uh git push shy. Git push that I forgot about this. Upstream Okay, git push. push. Gotta hate this. That's just a GitHub login window. And good git commit dash m. Updated for 2019 off season. Git push. Good. Okay. So now we're going to pop up our Firefox. Uh, we'll hide git bash and we will hide uh, that and we will hide. We don't even need a video capture device. What are you doing in here? Remove. And we're going to take that and we're going to hide it. We're going to make Firefox full screen like that. I'm going to go to github.com, sign in. Firefox should already be there. Um, we'll just got CLI and updated for 2019 off season. So that's basically how you do it. Um, our next video will go over basically how to push, how to do stuff like that. But for now, that's it. Um, man, I remember making this. Like, I was up until like 3 a.m. Um, just like writing this on a piece of lined paper because I had such a, I had like just an idea and I had to do it. Um, so that's basically what we're left with. Um, this video wasn't really meant. Oh, shit. Uh, let's unlock Firefox so you guys can see it. Okay. So. Yeah, I remember doing this basically today at 3 a.m. writing it. Okay, I don't need to say it again. Um, basically, this video wasn't really meant to like help anybody. Um, well, I guess it was, but if it was helpful, um, drop my Twitch page, follow, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't know. Is that what people say? I don't know. I'm lost. That's okay. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful to someone. Um, if not the person I intended it for, then at least one of you out there. Um, yeah, catch you guys later.